So when you're building a brand around your music, it's so important to use all the tools at your disposal in order to grow that following and increase your income. So in this video, I'm gonna share with you three super easy ways to grow your following rapidly using Instagram in a way that you might not have thought of before. Stay tuned. What's going on guys, Adam Ivy, adamivy.com. As always, I appreciate you joining me yet again for another video. So a lot of you guys have been asking me for the tips, the tactics, the actionable items that you could start doing today to see an increase in followers, see an increase in your fan base, build that business, build that brand, build that income. So today I'm gonna to show you a few different ways, three to be specific, on how I use Instagram in a way that you might not have thought about before, as I mentioned in the intro, to grow your following, grow your fan base, and get more interaction, get more engagement. Now, full disclaimer, these are free to do. They don't take much time. And in fact, once you get the hang of it, once you get a system in place, they're gonna change the game for you. Now, this by no means is a Instagram 101 course. This is a little bit more advanced. So if you're serious about pushing your music, you're serious about building your music-based brand, follow along and bear with me. Now, I know you might be using one of these techniques already in your content strategy. And if you are, congratulations, you're above the curve. You're already ahead of the game. and I. I'm glad that you're watching this video because what I'm going to share with you I think is going to be really powerful. Now, the first thing I see users that are trying to build a YouTube channel, which I always suggest, side note, if you are a music creator, if you're a music producer, if you're a beat maker, if you are a singer, songwriter, rapper, even mix engineer, even, uh, you know, you could write jingles, having a YouTube presence is so important, but that's for a different video. But one thing I see people underutilizing, not utilizing at all, ignoring, thinking it's a huge waste of time, which is number the step number one, is utilizing IGTV to your benefit. Now, I think by now you probably have heard of IGTV, which is Instagram TV. I don't know why they named it that, because it's not TV. I don't really understand the name. But anyway, what it is, is it's a platform in itself here on Instagram where you can host your long form videos. So you can upload 10 minute videos. I think some creators can upload longer than that. I don't know really know if you'd want to upload like an hour, but for those who do streaming, for those who do, let's say that you have a full blown uh, listening session right of your album of your beats maybe you want to play some new stuff say hey guys this week i'm going to release five new beats and here they are in their long term uh you know long form play you play them in the studio you vibe out to them maybe you have some people over that would be a really cool video idea but what happens if you don't want to use instagram tv as a platform itself well it's still powerful see i started an experiment the second that igtv went live and what i started doing is with these videos here on youtube i made little snippet videos in fact this video will have a snippet video that's on igtv now what's a snippet video a snippet video is where you take the long form content which would be a full youtube video you cut it into like a 30 to 60 second you could I mean, do two minutes if you'd like, but it's just a teaser to give people a taste of what they're going to get when they consume your content in the long form, which would be, in my instance, here on YouTube. So what I'll do is I'll take the intro of this video, and what I do is I take the intro of my videos, and then I run it all the way to where my signature would be on this video, where it would be like my official intro or whatever you want to call it, and then I put I put a animated uh, an animated slide after that content that says new video now live or new video posted at you know youtube.com slash adam ivy now you can do this very easily you don't have to have video editing skills you don't have to have you know the the greatest know-how of how to do these things all you have to do is take your regular video or even even do it in your phone uh, snip it down to like 30 to 60 seconds wherever you think is that hook Let's say that I, I have a snippet that's like, um, in this video, I'm gonna teach you five ways to get more traffic to your Facebook page without paying any money. You know, stay tuned. That would be a good hook because people are interested. You told them what you're about to teach them in the video, and then they're like, oh, I wanna, I wanna see it. Where is it? Well, if it's on IGTV in a snippet form, then they're like, okay, where do I go? So you don't just leave it there. You put a call to action, a clear and concise call to action, or as the marketing world calls it, a CTA. So at the end of my video that I used for an example here, I put the new video now live, youtube.com slash Adam Ivy. Or you could put, you know, check out my video at, check out my website at. It doesn't just need to go to a video, but you get what I'm saying. You're utilizing this little feature that's gonna pop up at the top of people's screen when they open their phone. Anytime that the people that they're following have a new IGTV post, they want traffic to their own platform, so they're gonna put it right up on top of the screen. That gets you in front of so many more eyeballs organically than having an Instagram post just sitting there where they might show it to 10 to 
15% of your following, which is a whole different frustration that I know a lot of us are dealing with. But using these uh, different hacks, I guess, on Instagram is really gonna alleviate that and really drive more traffic, which overall is gonna increase engagement and that's gonna be a hack in a way to kind of fool the algorithm into showing your content here on, or not here on Instagram, but on Instagram to a lot more of your followers and a lot more new people that can discover your content. Now that leads us right to technique number two, and that's using the swipe up feature in Instagram stories. We've all seen it, our friends, our family, celebrities that we look up to using the swipe up feature as a marketing technique, as a, as a call to action to get them to where they want to be, right? So if I do a video, for instance, I always do a, a slide video, which I use an After Effects template that you can find on a website such as Video Hive. Uh, there's a whole bunch of different ones. I'll leave the Video Hive link in the description box below where you can go there and search up different After Effects templates and they have Premiere Pro and Apple Motion and all that good stuff. So if you have any uh, uh, any knowledge in After Effects or if you have a buddy or you want to find somebody on Fiverr to do it, it's, it's, it's super simple. I All I do is I take my thumbnail and then I bring it into the template that I've customized for my own, you know, using. And then I just have, um, you know, the title of what the video is. I'll put one up on the screen right now so you see what I'm talking about. Super easy. Uh, so I'll show the photo that I would use for the um, template and then what it looks like with the template. Now what this does is it asks, it, it asks for that call to action. Excuse me. It says swipe up, right? So all you do is when you upload this into Instagram, into the Instagram app, you, instead of taking a live photo, you swipe up and then you can pick something from your camera roll. I'm, I think it's the same on Android as, as, as it is on Apple. I use an Apple, it's an old iPhone, it's like a potato, it's super old, upgrading soon. But what I'm getting at is you import that and then what that does, it's, it's wonderful. Like I mentioned in the last step, Instagram these days does not show all of your followers your posts. Uh, I suffer from this. I know a lot of my creator friends suffer from this, but Instagram stories is a little bit different. You can get to a whole lot more people. Uh, for instance, if I upload something, I have about 24,000 uh, followers on Instagram. Side note, if you're not following my, me on Instagram, come say what's up. I'll put that information on the screen now. But out of those 24,000 people, if I'm lucky, Instagram shows it to about 2,500 to 3,000 people per post if I don't boost it at all, which that's it for a different uh, a different video as well because I can teach you a very simple way to boost for pretty much no money that will unlock uh, another like 30%. I'd have to go look back at my metrics, but I think it's another 30% of people. But let's get back to step number two and that's using the swipe up feature. So what the Instagram stories is going to allow you to do is unlock a whole lot more people because with the Instagram stories, it's not heavy on the ads and the promotion yet. So what it does is it shows right in the top bar of people's Instagram app that you have a new story. And it's time sensitive too, which is great because let's say that I upload a new video. I make a, I, I, may, I do it beforehand. I have everything scheduled. I try to do these videos a few days in advance. So I have all the content ready. I have all the copy ready, all the hashtags figured out and the geo tags and stuff, which I'll get to. But what I do then is then I simply upload from my camera roll in my phone, that um, preview, uh, the swipe preview, the, the swipe up call to action. Now, don't worry if you don't know how to use After Effects, if you don't know how to use all these different video editing softwares, you don't need that, really. You can use a simple uh, still from maybe the thumbnail of your video. You can use a still from the video that you pulled. You can use, honestly, let's say that you're talking about, let's say you're doing a food review um, on the new, you know, Oreo has like 50 different flavors you know, every season. So let's say you're doing a food review. Well, you could find a photo of Oreos and screen cap it. And the great thing about Instagram is there's so many tools built in. You can use the GIFs, you can use the pen tool, you can use the text tool. And with the swipe up, uh, there's so many swipe up um, animations that you can find in the GIF tool. Uh, so you can just find a swipe up animation, drag it on your photo, and you really spice it up. You make it interesting. You want to make it eye-catching because people are looking at so much content that you really want to catch their attention and pull that. So using the swipe up feature will get people to go to your main profile, will get people to go to your YouTube channel, will get people to go to your website directly. Any URL that you have, maybe you have a Shopify store, maybe you have an iTunes link that you want somebody to go to directly. Maybe as we've talked about in other videos, maybe you wanna send them to a uh, Spotify playlist or a Spotify single album, whatever you're dropping, because you want people to listen to your music, you want people to discover you, follow you, fall in love, become best friends, and you know, ride off into the sunset together. 
all while you are able to uh, build a career around your music. That's really why I make these videos. I'm sorry if I'm stuttering. I feel like I've just been talking without any gaps. Let me take a second to breathe. Oh, side note, I can breathe. I'm, I, I think it was just a little cold that I just got over. But uh, anyway, thanks for everybody who have um, in the past video wished me uh, health and, and get well soon. So I genuinely appreciate it. So that's step number two. Let's review real quick. Step number one was utilizing IGTV to your benefit. If you're doing that, you can also link to your, it, let's say that you have a long form video on your main Instagram profile. Let's say that you have a 60 second video on your main Instagram profile. You can cut that down to a snippet, cut that down to a teaser. If you don't wanna send people off of Instagram, you can also use the IGTV function to send them to your main profile page. You can also do that with a swipe up. We'll get to that in a second, but step number two is using swipe up uh, as a benefit to you to direct people to where you want them to go, gain their attention, send them directly, like I said in another video, send them from A to B as simply as possible. Now, side note, a little insider information. I actually have a bonus hack after step number three. So after step number three is done and I finish my thought, uh, don't click off the video because there's gonna be more value, I promise you, and you're gonna wanna stick around. But speaking of step number three, step number three is, util is utilizing IG stories to tease new posts. Now, why would you do that? Isn't that a little redundant? It sounds like it would be, but it's not. As we spoke about a couple minutes ago, Instagram is not showing all of your posts to all your followers, unfortunately, but guess what? As we also spoke about, Instagram stories reach so many more people, it's easy to get engagement, and it's like a billboard that people actually look through because when they're sliding through stories, maybe they say, oh, I, you know what? As a matter of fact, I haven't noticed Adam's new post in a few days. People lose track of this type of thing. So what I did is, uh, for example, for this video, is I took a screenshot of my, what do you want to call it? The Instagram profile or maybe the tiles? And what you do is just like the Instagram story with a swipe up, you utilize the tools you are given, free tools. You go through GIFs, you go through the different uh, text tools, you go through the drawing tool. You can use all of these to your benefit such as I did, I'll show you right on the screen right now. So I took this image, I brought it in and used the, utilized the tools, and then I uh, created a, what do you wanna call it? I created a preview, I created a teaser, you know, uh, to the post that I did earlier today. I don't suggest that you do a teaser right away. I suggest letting the organic traffic come in, let it simmer a little bit, and then when you see the likes start to slow down, then do a teaser, because guess what? You're gonna get people that maybe maybe they were at work, maybe they were at, a, uh, at the gym, maybe they were with their kids, maybe they were sleeping, depending on where they live. They're gonna find that teaser image that you posted, because your other um, post from earlier in the day is already going to be so far down their timeline that they're not they're not going to find you typically so that little teaser is a way to keep it fresh it's only going to be there for 24 hours but you're going to get more engagement you're going to get more eyes on your content and you're going to get more uh, awareness that you actually posted something which a lot of times Instagram isn't even informing your your followers they're not informing your fans that you uploaded anything today all right so let's recap the three steps real quick and then we'll get to that bonus hack so step number one utilizing IGTV to your benefit step number two is using the swipe up feature to get more eyes to get more engagement on your content to get more people to your website to get more people to your YouTube channel to get more people to your Instagram profile for that matter and step number three was utilizing like a teaser post or a preview post of the post showing your whole profile showing the tiles or even a video you can even use it with video to get more engagement to get more eyes on your content like I said because this is all about building a fan base it's all about brand awareness now those three steps might seem pretty simple to somebody who's been doing it for a while but I want to know in the comments below if you've been doing that if you've been doing all three don't lie I want to know if you have so let's get to the bonus hack. Now, what is the bonus hack? This sounds super simple because a lot of people use tags. The bonus hack is tags, but you can use tags in uh, Instagram stories. You can use tags in Instagram main posts, I guess you would call it, the, the standard Instagram posts, whether it be video or a photo. But geotagging, tagging location, can also unlock your content to a whole new slew of audience members. So let's say that you're an artist and you do R&B music. Well, what happens if you have a huge R&B festival with hip hop artists, with R&B artists that are happening the same weekend that you're releasing a new song? Maybe just you're just releasing a new post of yourself. You're just doing a picture, a photo of yourself here on Instagram, or not here, I keep saying here, but on Instagram. What do you do? So I'm gonna use an example of something that I used 
when NAM was in Nashville. So NAM is a huge, uh, essentially a music trade show. They have new gear, new software technology. They have live bands. Um, it's like the, uh, I, I always like to relate it to like the, the car shows, right? It's like car shows for audio nerds, right? The newest guitars, the newest keyboards, the new, anything, anything under the sun when it comes to music is there at NAM. Also a lot of concerts happening in town that weekend. Well, guess what? During that weekend, I did a little experiment, and this is something I've been doing for a long time, so it wasn't the first time, but what I did was when I posted a photo, I tagged myself at now. What happened? I got a whole lot of new strangers hit me up in the DM asking me, hey bro, are you here at Nam? I'm here. Or, man, I wish I was there. You know, I've, I've used some of these different posts and I've said that I was at this event or a football game or whatever, just to kind of experiment. And that's something that you should always be doing on Instagram. It's something that you should always be doing on the social platforms. Obviously keep it within the terms and conditions, but you know, push the boundaries a little bit, play in the gray area because that's how you develop new techniques. That's how you develop a new formula of success, especially when they start closing the doors on the things that they promised you would always be free such as your followers will always be able to find you. No, like you're not showing my followers my posts. Don't, don't tell me that. Don't lie to my face. Or uh, it's one of my uncles used to say, don't piss on me and tell me it's raining. So I think Judge Judy said that too. Anyway, what I'm getting at is using geotags can get your eyes in front of the right people. People are going to look at those major events, look at those major venues, look at those major locations, even tourists. Uh, you know, for instance, if I go to Disney and take myself at Disney, which is 15 minutes away from where I live, I'm gonna get a lot more likes. Now, is it the targeted audience? No, but guess what? I know a lot of you guys are probably thinking that right now. Adam, what is, you know, Disney, what are Disney fans gonna help, help, you know, help me with? How's that gonna help? I don't want just random strangers liking my stuff, looking at my stuff if I'm not there. You know, if, 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 if where I'm targeting or where I'm aiming at is not my target audience, which I would actually agree with you most of the time, but not here. Because if you target these people in a geo uh, type way with the tag, you're going to get more eyeballs. And guess what? Like I just mentioned a few minutes ago, when you get higher engagement than usual, you get that spike. There's a term for it that I can't think of off the top of my head. When you get that spike in engagement, when you get that spike in eyeballs, guess what? All of a sudden you rank higher on the featured page when it comes to the hashtags. You rank higher when it comes to, not rank higher, I'm sorry, I'll take that back. You are... Um, unlocked i'm sorry let me let me catch my thought process what you are is instagram shows your content to more people that's what i'm getting at when i have a post that does very well let's say that i do a post and it does 30 percent or more uh when it comes to engagement maybe i did the right hashtags maybe i just hit it at the right time maybe it was a really cool picture of my studio or a car uh, that i was driving or whatever that might get higher engagement and guess what that always typically shows up on the featured page or the hashtag page for the hashtags I used. And on top of that, Instagram unlocks it to more of my audience. Like I said earlier in this video, Instagram, I don't want to call muffles, I guess, muffles my content. I'm sure they muffle yours as well. This is a frustration that we have together as creators. We have together as a family here and it's not fair, right? But life's not fair. Fuck it. Maybe I'm, you know, it doesn't matter. What we have to do is we have to work around the obstacles that we're given. There's no second alternative way. Whatever comes into our path is what we have to deal with. And this is something that we're dealing with. This is one way to, it's kind of a loophole around the algorithm. Now I'm getting a little long winded, but just try it. Uh, whether it be in your regular posts or your Instagram stories and see how it works for you. See how the engagement raises. So if you're used to getting 20 likes, if you get 25 or 30, that's a huge increase. If you're used to getting 300 likes on something and you get 350, 400, that's a huge increase, especially because statistically, some of those likes will become followers. And that's what we're really trying to do here is we're trying to build a fan base and followers become customers and customers become true fans for, for the duration of what you're doing if you build your business right. And I'm getting off topic. This video needs to stay very concise. And as always, guys, if you found any value in this video whatsoever, which I genuinely hope you have, all that I ask is that you smash that thumbs up button, smash that like button for me. And if you haven't yet, I invite you to subscribe to the channel by clicking that little button over here. And if you want to become a BFF, if you want to become part of the channel family, click that little bell icon so you can be the first to be notified anytime I upload a video just like this. Or maybe better, maybe slightly worse, I mean, maybe not, not worse. 
you be the judge. In the description box below is going to be all my contact information, including uh, the links that I mentioned earlier, um, as well as the camera gear that I use in to shoot these videos and the Snapchat that I no longer use. Now, I want to know if you found value. I want to know which tips, which tactics resonate the most with you. I want you to use these and then come back a few days later and let me know that you're, you're using them and let me know your experience in the comments below. I appreciate everybody who's been engaging in my videos. You've been subscribing. Uh, we've had a surge in uh, new subscribers. This is one of the fastest growing uh, music business and marketing channels on YouTube right now. Um, I'm so proud of that. and I can't wait to share what I have up my sleeve. Side note, I had more work done and it's healing. So if it's a little pink, that's why, but I'm done now. I'll post some pictures over on Instagram. So I hope you come and join me over there. You follow me say what's up, send me a DM, send a comment. I'll put that to, that uh, information up on the screen right now. Um, and yeah, guys, I hope you found value in this. Try not to make it as long, or I tried to make it more concise, more actionable. If you want to see more videos like this with the tips and tactics, actionable items in a one, two, three, one, two, three, four, five uh, fashion, please let me know in the comments below. And until next time, you can find me at adamivy.com.